Hi, I'm Faith with Faith's Attic and today I want to tell you everything you need to know about prefold cloth diapers. What are prefolds? Here's a flat cloth diaper, one single layer of absorbing fabric. A prefold is just like a prefolded flat that is sewn together. Most prefolds look rectangular with multiple layers of either cotton, flannel, bamboo, or hemp fabric. Most prefolds also have two rows of stitching for a quicker folding. On the plus side, most prefolds have extra layers of fabric in the middle row. Most diapers come in a 4 by 8 by 4 layers. That means there's 4 layers on the ends and 8 layers in the middle. The newborn prefolds might have less layers, but they're still very absorbing. Not all prefolds will have a stitching in the middle. Apple cheeks and sustainable babyish prefolds have the same amount of layers throughout the prefold. My mother-in-law used prefolds back in the day when she cloth diapered her kids. And she also used prefolds, same name, but hers were a lot thinner. She actually had to double them up because they're super thin. Today, our prefolds are very absorbing and super soft. Why use prefolds? First of all, they're very budget friendly because you can buy a prefold for as low as $2 and the price gets cheaper if you buy used. Plus, prefolds are very easy to wash and they dry really well compared to most inserts that are sewn together in one little insert. They're very convenient and tiny, but prefolds dry a lot quicker than them. How many prefolds do you need? You will need 24 prefolds to be able to wash every two to three days. You will also need to buy covers to make this a full-on cloth diaper system because you need the absorbency, which are the prefolds, and the cover or wool to make it work together to make it waterproof. You can reuse the cover between uses by just letting it air dry and it's ready to be reused on the next diaper change. But if the diaper is soiled, you will have to throw everything into a wet bag or your favorite way of storing the diapers between laundry time. I personally recommend five to eight covers if you want to wash the laundry every two to three days. Lower amount of covers if your baby or toddler is not pooping often where you can reuse the cover more often and higher amount of covers for the newborn days or when the baby's teething or has a stomach bug. But how do you use prefolds and covers? When you get your prefolds in the mail, they will look huge and flat. Don't be surprised because they will shrink and bubble up after you wash them. Usually it takes around 3 to 8 washes to fully prep the cloth diapers. My favorite way of using prefolds is a pad fold. All you have to do is try to fold the sides and lay it in the cover and you're done. Plus, I forgot to mention, you don't have to only use covers when you're using prefolds. Prefolds work amazing in pocket cloth diapers as well. But you cannot reuse the pocket cloth diapers if you go the prefold pocket cloth diaper method because you cannot reuse the pocket cloth diaper. The pocket cloth diaper, most of them are lined with a stay dry fabric or natural fiber fabric. And if the baby pees or poops, that fabric will get wet and you can't reuse the pocket cloth diaper. Another positive for pack folding and prefold is you don't need any accessories like a snappy or pins because you don't have to pin it or snap it on the baby. All you have to do is lay it in the cover or put it in the pocket. You don't need anything extra. One way is to keep all the prefolds in a stack and then you can grab one at a time and fold onto your baby throughout the day. Then my top favorite way of how I actually use prefolds is by pre-stuffing the pockets and covers in a pack fold and then just grab one as I go. And it was really quick to do diaper changes and especially if I had to go somewhere like run to the store out of nowhere, I can just easily just grab two or three diapers and just go out the door without having to 
grab all the prefolds and covers, everything was set, everything was ready for me, just grab and go. Okay, now let's talk about the disadvantages to prefolds. One is that there is a learning curve to prefolds, but it's not too difficult, truly. It's really, really fast to pick up on pad folding. It takes one second, so really no learning. But if you actually have to learn how to fold, there's so many different YouTube videos out there, so many vlogs out there that write and videotape about how to actually pre-fold a pre-fold on your baby, so many tutorials, so it's really not too difficult if you go out and search this topic and if you actually try it on a teddy bear before actually put on the baby, you'll be a pro in no time. Another negative to pre-folds is that they are bulkier than all-in-ones because they're very absorbent. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Because pre-folds, they absorb a lot compared to a lot of all-in-ones. So truly, they might be bulkier, but they might be more absorbing. So it's kinda depends. Is your baby heavy wetter? then pre are great, even if your baby's heavy wetter. But if your baby's not heavy wetter, then pre and all-in-ones, you might not like the bulkiness of the pre -folds. Another negative to pre is that they're not all budget-friendly, which is okay because even the highest priced pre are still cheaper than most all-in-ones, so you can buy more of them and reuse more of them. And but if you really, really need to be on a tight budget, you have to buy cheaper prefolds, which are great. I actually have Imagine prefolds. I, I do have Diaper Right prefolds as well, and they work really well. So don't be scared to buy the cheaper prefolds. Another disadvantage is that they're not one size fit all. So kind of like a one size diaper and a newborn diaper. Same thing with prefolds. They actually have sizes, so they'll be like a preemie size, a newborn size, a small, a medium, and a large. You don't have to buy all the sizes. If your baby was not born preemie, don't buy the preemie size. You can actually buy a newborn size or size small, which is what I did. I actually bought the size small. And then I skipped the medium stage and went straight to large. And that way I used the small pad folded for a very long time. And then when my baby got bigger, I used the large prefold and then that's it. I didn't have to buy every single size. So you don't have to buy every size, but it is in a disadvantage if you will buy all of them because then you have to you know, spend more money on prefolds. Now I'm gonna talk about the positives and obviously I said a lot of positives and negatives throughout the whole time, but there's a lot of positives. One, budget friendly. You can have a very, very strict budget on prefolds and buy a lot of prefolds that will last you until potty training. Another thing is they are natural fibers. They're made with so many different fabrics, let's say cotton and bamboo, hemp, and flannel. So they're all made with natural fibers, which are perfect for kids are sensitive to synthetics, which are perfect for washing because they wash really well and dry well. And another big positive is that you can fold the prefolds in so many different ways and it's it might be complicated at first, but it's really easy to pick up on. So you won't have a very, very hard time with folding. Don't be scared. <laughs> that was my video for all about pre-folds. I hope you learned something new and exciting. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about prefolds, I'll love to answer them for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye!